I gained pro level ball striking once I started doing these two moves. And this is what you never see recreational golfers do, especially the golfers who shoot 90 or over, or golfers who just generally really struggle with their ball striking hitting their irons. And these two moves are one, staying centered at the top of the backswing, and two, feeling like your right shoulder is getting in front of the golf ball at impact. So number one, staying centered. This is so, so important because staying centered, so turning in that backswing, and if there was a red line going through my body, I am staying with that red line going through the middle of my body as I turn. So the weight is still going into my trail heel. I'm still getting the weight there or pressure, but I'm staying nicely on top of myself as I do so. Why that's so important for ball striking? Because it makes it easy for you to control your low point in the downswing. So if I stay nice and in my center on the backswing, now for me to get my low point after the golf ball, which is essential for hitting ball than turf, your lowest points after the ball, you're gonna be hitting the ball and then the turf. I need to shift my weight left in the downswing. I need to shift my weight left enough to get my left pec, which is really where the lowest point of our swing arc is, quite a little bit in front of the golf ball there. So I have to shift my weight. If I am staying centered at the top of the swing, I don't have to move as much left to be able to get that left pec nice and in front and to get my low point forward to hit those nice strikes. So staying centered helps hugely for having good ball striking because we'll constantly see golfers out there, especially who really struggle with their ball striking. Some will move a little bit off center. They might think they need to shift their weight right, then shift it left. You're always gonna be inconsistent doing that with that amount of movement pattern. Even if it's a little bit or a lot, you've got to think, okay, I've got to move my body way more left now to be able to get in front of that golf ball with that left side to be able to hit ball than turf. Because ideally, again, if we draw that red line through, I'd want that red line, like we said, through the middle and the top of the backswing, and then through the right-hand side of the body and still through my head have to shift. If I'm moving massively off the golf ball, I've got to move an incredible amount to get to that same position. So that's where if we're having a movement pattern where we have to move that amount laterally in the golf swing to hit a successful good golf shot, we're going to be inconsistent. Where if we stay centered, the amount to move laterally is a very small amount to get the same result. So you have to stay centered and I'll show you a great drill to do so. So the drill to stay more centered for the first move is this, and that is with a swing plate. So there's a link in description to get 10% off this. But what we do with it, we have either, let's say the swing plate or a very long alignment stick, because then we get the extension pole attachment and get it right out here. And what we do, we have it just so it's a few fingers or hands distance outside the right side of my head. And the simplest thing we do, is still try to get a good full turn and just don't hit that in the backswing. It's that simple. So when I got this into my game as one of the moves, this is exactly how I did it. This wasn't there at the time of swing plate, so I used a golf bag with an alignment stick coming out, and that did the job really nicely. Helps hugely to keep yourself center. It's really, really simplistic of a method of doing it, because all you're trying to do is not hit this. And then the repetitions of this over and over again will get it into your swing. So, okay, just don't hit this in the back swing of my head. And boom, there we go. That'll keep you more on center. So let's get to the second. So guys, the off season is here. So now is the time to start working on your game in preparation for next season, for next season to be the best season ever. So if you wanna make changes, just like you're seeing here with my students, I wanna do it over the winter period where well, you're in luck because I have just launched the winter improvement plan. So what do you get with the winter improvement plan? You get four lessons per month and it's for all under the price of two single lessons. So an absolutely amazing deal. So four lessons per month is absolutely perfect for the amount of lessons to have optimal improvement month in, month out. So that's where we can have good interaction, have really keeping you on plan and making sure that we're giving your swing the time and attention it needs to have that massive improvement from off season to in season. So it's an absolute brilliant way to work on your golf swing to get it ready for next season, but any lesson package or subscription on my skill list is absolutely a brilliant way to work on your golf swing. And don't just take my word for it. 
here are the testimonials of my students and the massive improvements they've made. So if you want to ask me any questions, you can message me over on my Skillist profile and I'll absolutely answer anything you want. And I'm looking forward to working with you and improving your golf swing. So the second thing I did here, and that was like we said in the intro, making sure your right shoulder is feeling, is the key word there, like it's getting in front of the golf ball. So you can see, what's that doing? Shifting the body to the left. So this is an extreme feel for this, but what this actually is, this is Tiger Woods' stinger feel. Because to hit a stinger, you've got to shift a ton left and you've got to rotate a decent amount too, because those both give you a ton of shaft lean. So it's going to give you the compression where having that low point forward and having good shaft lean for that compression is going to make some very, very good strikes. So again, look here. I said, feel like I'm getting the right shoulder in front of the golf ball, which is going to get me shifting. And it's from the down the line going to get me turning am i actually getting there i'm not so as you can see i tried to feel like that right shoulder was getting in front of the golf ball but again feel so this is where what a lot of golfers don't do they don't extreme feels enough because they feel like they're going to extreme the feel and they're just going to go from one thing to the opposite so always go from one problem to the opposite it never happens that way what we feel is never real in the golf swing so for me if i'm feeling like my right shoulder is getting in front of the golf ball it's ultimately just getting me to where i have that extra chance of shifting for me shifting my weight left was a huge problem it still sometimes can be a problem for me because i've got cerebral palsy which affects my left side it's hard for me to shift into my left side unless i'm constantly repping it but for so many golfers who struggle with ball striking, I see the same thing. I'll see it in lessons. There'll be a huge separator each time from high handicaps to low handicaps. The amount they shift is always that separator. But right shoulder getting in front of the golf ball, such a good little visual and good little feel because it gets you, like we said, rotating and shifting, which creates this nice shaft lean and creates the nice compression. And it's a little Tiger Woods stinger feel. But of course, if you do it in normal ball position and still have the intent of the ball flight being a normal height, you're not gonna quite get that stinger shot. It's quite hard to hit the stinger shot. So for a lot of you, it will just create the good body movements we need, the rotation and the shifting. Of course, being more centered, you're gonna be doing absolutely everything you can. So thing to notice, it's not gonna get you to where you go too far in front because like we said, it's just a feel. It's not actually going to get you really with that shoulder in front. You're going to be like we mentioned before with that red line, what we want to see at impact. Red line goes through the head, goes through the leg, right leg, goes through the right side of your chest. That's where you would actually be. You're not going to be here. If you are in front of the golf ball after doing this, you need to add more right side bend. Right side bend will keep you on your center. But for a lot of golfers who struggle with this movement, they're not normally lacking in right side bend. So my favorite way to work on this is actually with a drill I talk about all the time on the channel, and that's the preset rotation drill. So this is where when we get to our setup and we preset a good rotated impact. So we rotate lower body as much as we can, rotate the chest as much as we can, weight is 90% on that left side. And now for this, we get that shoulder just feeling it's a little bit in front of the golf ball as the exaggeration and right shoulder down to the hip. Look at the amount of shuffling that creates. And all we do from there is just some little half swings trying to spring back to that exact same position. And that just gives you and gets you doing the feeling and actually gets you doing it in reality. So that's where it's an exaggeration drill for sure, but we need to exaggerate to be able to make a change. So again, another one, getting those spots I wanna get into. And then just springing back through with a little half swing. Having a drill to do that actually gets you doing it is so essential. So that's where a lot of golfers won't be having the drills. A lot of you will be going for lessons, for example, and your local coach might not give you a drill, which I have a very strong opinion on that, but we always need drills to be able to do, to be able to make a change. Because having that right shoulder getting in front of the golf ball for, as a feel is brilliant. It will do a great amount for a lot of you, but it won't get you getting it, let's say, into your golf swing at a decent rate. Having the feel along with a drill, like with the center turn, We'll get you absolutely doing it, but we're getting, getting it into your golf swing at a decent rate also, which is why so many of you, it takes golfers in general so long to make changes. It's not because golf, it takes a long time to get things into your swing, which it generally does. Lots of things moving at the same time, but it's because a lot of golfers don't practice properly. So if you could practice these two moves, if you really struggle with your ball striking, you've got to remember, you can always get better 
at your ball striking. If you're hitting more than 10 or 11 greens per round, you are playing better and hitting more greens in regulation than a scratch golfer. If you're getting it to around 11, 12, 13, you're at tall average of hitting greens per round. So that's where you can always improve your ball striking. Your ball striking gives you your opportunities for birdies and it makes it so you're not having too many mistakes when you're in that fairway or just off the fairway. It really transforms your game. So if you like this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. And guys, if you've been liking the clothes I've been wearing over the last couple of weeks in my videos, we're in luck because I've partnered with the clothing brand Druids. Now, Druids are absolutely amazing brand. Really good clothes, a big variety as you've seen already with me throughout my videos over the last couple of weeks for different styles, but they're extremely affordable. By far the most affordable and highest quality golf clothes on the market. Link in the description if you wanna get a discount on that and that could be 10% off your entire order. So check them out in that description and you'll see just what I'm talking about with how many options and how affordable and how good they look.